Just start talking? Yep. I've been ready. Yeah, me, uh, Demois has been ready. I know, I'm sorry, I had to get things written down for combat. I know, no worries. Uh, I'm very busy. You can Lamb just like, DC'd, by the way. Um... Well, I was a little late with joining all you guys. I saw you all popping up on this stuff, but I was actually working on a map for one of the next sessions and lost track of time. Anyway, so, where we last left off, uh, last time on D and D Z's, uh, I don't um, fucking know. Uh, Lamb and Tate were had one to the DC the counter. Hunt, <laughs> I did. And uh, they found an underground cavern slash thing, and we're walking with guards, split up, and got into a large, empty, dark room, and off in the distance they saw a man huddled next to a fire. More than likely it's Carl, but who knows? We also had Jared and Demoise's characters, who, after Jared had sold some stuff in the stores, had uh, met up with Demoise, and they went and donated to Gnome. Turns out Gnome was scanning their heads and taking their blood and asking some questions and so forth and uh talking to them One, real quick he told two. them that he actually will be doing something and uh might actually request them to be doing another job for them i think it was jared's character that talked to him about it but i can't remember for sure and then we had noah and kelp's character that were doing guard duty and after their characters were unsure if they were going fucking insane or were getting fucked with with something, turned around and saw all of the excavation team on the ground seemingly dead, and then got ready to fight shadowy versions of themselves. I wish to also iterate that I said that this fucking orb is probably going to be something like the idol, or I brought it up as a question at the very least. Yeah. So, fuck you, Marcus. <sighs> this, this orb... I don't think it means what you think it means. It's an apple. So to start off right away, nothing. we'll go over to Tate and Lamb. God damn it, Mark. All right, we're heading down the hall. You uh, guys are uh, inside of that room, and you see someone at the fire. So, can I make out any, like, facial features from here? Can I tell if it's His him? His back or? is to you. So, this would be a perfect oh, opportunity to sneak attack if you hey, were that kind of a person. Did you want to set up a room for this? We could. It'd just be a large, square room. Nothing special. Yep. How good are you at okay. skulking around? Uh, I've spilled around once or twice. You should I, I, I don't know how big this room is. Food for us in the wild. Might want to make it a bit bigger for them. So, do you want to try and get around to the front and see if we need to start firing on him? Are you guys whispering to each other? It seems like it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, bigger than no, I'm yelling it carelessly at the guy at the fireplace. Hey, you buddy, don't turn around! We're gonna sneak up on you! No, we're not saying that. I am, however, going to do exactly that and move silently up to at least get some sort of look at his face. Or can I see if he's holding the knife that I've seen before? That me and Lamb see. Where's your character? He's in here. You said we came in behind him. Wait, Arcus, I'm confused. Where are these corners? You had it right, I was just opening it up. Alright, give us give us a second to get this set up before continuing. <laughs> yeah! 
having things done. I can't copy and paste. Makes me cry. No copy buster. Who knows if they're all locked together, but good enough, maybe? I'd say good enough. I locked them down. Okay. Oh, wait, we need a enemy marker, don't we? Yeah. This is a huge fucking room. Yeah, I said it's a large, empty, dark room. With a fire, right here. And if you don't have dark vision, you can't see all the way. He'd be more there, but... Oh, okay, let's okay. put the fire there. I just kind of put him in there. I didn't know where exactly you wanted him. Tate, why are you moving him after Marcus put him where you should be? Is he holding his knife? He could be. Why is he staring as if he's making about to make a life-breaking decision? What are you doing over there, Marcus? Why is this motherfucking statue look kinda like me? Yay, what? more shadow bullshit. <laughs> and this is why Marcus needed our shit. Marcus, get, get, get a look at that statue's face. Please. That doesn't look quite like you, Tate. A little bit. He's taller, skinnier. His only facial hair is a I know, mustache with a small goatee. And, and his he's name's got like a kind of Caesar haircut. Put this yes. in, put glasses on him. And put him in the Sims. He's me. And, and let's not forget what Noah said. His name is Carl. <laughs> I didn't hear Noah. Noah, why are you holding the wolf? I wanted to see the walk animation. What? Oh, I know it's a dead puppy. Okay, so now that the room is set, that's where you guys are at, and that's where you see him at, so... Uh, what were you asking me now? Um, can I sneak up and around over... Over here to get see if I can see the knife or anything? So there's seriously nothing in this room. Or in space. Yeah, there's really nothing in the room, Kel, but it's just a large, empty room. It's There are pipes, but not really big enough for people. It's probably just a room where water fills, and then water goes away, if anything. Or, maybe okay. this is a very, very, very old part of a city that this used to be some sort of shop, and an, or a warehouse, or who knows. But in the end, it is just an empty room for them. Uh, as far as sneaking around, Tate, that's called a stealth check. Yep. <laughs> so, roll Let's your move this. silently, and, uh... Are you armored at all, Tate? I am. However, it doesn't add an armor check penalty. I think he only wears, like, light leather. Some shit like that. Studded, I think. Okay, so it's leather with a couple of metal pieces on the front. In other words, still sound like that. More or less. Rolls what? What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so you well, luckily oh, you can't actually fail skill checks, so that is actually a thirteen. 
Yeah. Uh, where were you trying to move, Tate? Move your character to where you wanted to move. You can't crit fail a skill check. No, but he gets to compete against it. Damn. And you couldn't get any easier than a single one. Yeah. And before he rolls a one as well. Okay, I was trying to set you on the square. While Kel or while Kel while Tate is doing this, Lamb, what does your character do? I'm lining up a shot. Just making sure I don't fire. And okay. roll one and hit Tate. Oh, please let that be. Well, Please Tate, don't let it be. you sneak over to there, you see him just sit, uh, sitting, sort of crouched, whatever, in front of the fire, uh, appears to be kind of coddling something, but it definitely looks like the ranger outfit, so you would assume that it's Carl. It's actually it's Rick! Carl. Okay then. But is it really? Well, we know this isn't the Ranger Outpost. So I am going to safely assume that yes, this is Carl. I'm going to pull out my bow. And Tate, do you remember what they uh, told you? What the guards told you? Try and take him alive. Try and take him alive. Yeah. You can do it! Jeez. I'm just reminding you in case you forgot since it's been a week. They said take him it alive. It has been a week. Uh, knock him right. out if you have to. And use deadly force if it's your last option. Like, if he's literally got a knife to one of your throats, kill him. But if he's just, you know, doing nothing, they'd like you to bring him alive so he can stand trial. Well, I mean, we can fire and do non-lethal damage, right? We just take a minus four to the attack. Yeah. I th well, you can do some dual damage with melee. Uh... Marcus? I don't know if you can pull shot on Marcus? the arrows. I'm gonna sneak up behind him and bash him on the back of the head. Or the top of the head, or whatever, to try and knock him out with the fool's gold rock, aka cherry. Give me one second, Tate. I just want to look up something for uh, Lamb so that he knows. I was actually looking that up as well, so. Put your rocks oh, to use, um... Cal. Oh, that that's a pretty good question. Um, what would you yeah. need to ro would you need to like roll like use rope if you wanted to tie someone up? <laughs> Just, yeah, you do uh, use uh, rope, and then when they're awake, they can do a uh, um crap. What's that called? I don't see anything about uh ranged weapons. It's specifying you can use melee weapons that do lethal damage to instead do non-lethal damage at a minus four. So I don't think you can pull a shot. Now you can do a called shot if you wish and just hope you don't crit and if you hit him in the arm and you don't knock him below, you know, full health and a called shot will have minuses itself. But, you know, then you'd just be hitting him in the arm and hurting him for a lot, but you won't theoretically kill him. But if you critted him and you went over his threshold, that his health, then you probably cut an artery and he's dead. We just have to amputate his legs, then we'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm gonna hit him on the back of the head with a uh, full scope rock. You don't have a freezing spell yet, Lamb, do you? Nope. All I have is Ray of Frost. 
Anyway, Tate, so you are currently uh, looking at him. You can see his face, kind of. You uh, prepare to sneak over and try to hit him with the Fool's Rock. Do you reach into your backpack to grab it out? Yes. Are you facing Stealthy. him still? Are you facing him still while you take it out? Like, did you put your back to him as you go to your backpack, or do you bring your backpack to your front and then start to take it out? Or are you reaching probably, over your back and just twist open it around? Your okay, so you twist it around, you open it up. Do you look in to grab, or do you just reach? Yes, I look in to grab. You look in to grab, and... Lamb, can you see in the dark? Uh, no, but the dude's around a fire. Right. You don't have dark vision? As a half-elf? No. Oh, okay. I think I have low light vision. Yeah, low yeah, light vision. Yeah, low light vision, yeah, the beard. Carl whips up, kicking the wood that is on fire across the way and sprints to tape. While you're looking down, Tate. Well, I can probably hear that. Yeah, you're looking down and he's sprinting at you with a knife. So... Lamb, what are you gonna do? I'm taking a shot. Do you want to aim in a specific spot? To... No, not right now. You want to try to cripple his leg? With my luck, no. <laughs> Mind you, he kicked the wood, so the room isn't exactly lit anymore. Now it's dimly lit. That's fine. You have light. So you're shooting I your bow? I also have low light vision. Yes. Who's gonna roll for ya? Oh, uh, let's go, Jared. <laughs> Jared doesn't get enough rolling. Fifteen. So, twenty total. All right, roll your damage for me. So one d six. Yep. Face. Yep. Well, oh, I was letting. Oh wait, he probably uses a short short bow. That uh, Jared. Five. Yeah. Oh, Jared, what did you roll? He, he rolled the d20 when he should be rolling the d6, which is no, why yeah, I was thinking the d6. You, you rolled the d6, he's he's doing damage. <laughs> oh, sorry, it had someone My shortbow just got an upgrade. <laughs> Holy shit, a d20 of damage on a bow. <laughs> For no Three. special reasons. Three, okay. The bow of god slaying. You it's just a use a normal bow. short bow, right? Not composite or anything? Just a regular short bow. You mean a composite bow of like plus 15? Well, if it was composite, he'd get to add his strength score, but since it's not, he doesn't. Well, I mean, I have a strength score of plus zero anyway. True. <laughs> Alright, you hit him. And, uh, fortunately for Tate, it did not put him down, and he hit Tate. Wait, Carl hit Tate? Yep. What? For some reason, that I just took that as that, Lamb that hit That was Tate. Uh, Lamb's chance to stop Carl from hitting Tate. Because Tate is distracted with going into his backpack. And although he hears it, it's not enough time to get out and block. It might be enough time to see the attacker, but not enough time to draw a weapon and block. He 
could try to tumble. Unless I blocked with the full skull rock. It's not like he hurts him for much. Uh, two damage, Tate. And. And then Tate's dead. And take <laughs> six points of dexterity damage. And 13 <laughs> points of con. No, just, uh, just two points of damage. As Carl slashes you. You got a little boo-boo on your arm. Does it Carl realize that kills people? Yeah. He already did kill people. Alright, uh, roll me initiative, Tate and Lamb. I have a plus four. Jared, did you roll for Lamb? Fifteen. And Lamb got a six. Ten. Yay! Is that with the plus four help? Yeah. Oh crap. Alright, so six. <laughs> Can I get someone Wait. else rolling for me? Marcus, I said the total was no. ten. Oh, the total's ten? Yeah, Lamb's got a plus four. Jared rolled to six, that's why I said ten. Okay, I was gonna say, damn, Jared, you rolled him a fucking two. Yeah, Jared didn't roll that badly. <laughs> And Lamb, what do, what do you mean, get someone else? He did let you hit Carl. This is true. With a roll of 15. Okay. Uh, Carl goes first, and... Misses Tate really, really, really badly. Uh, he swings the dagger wildly. Oddly enough, it turns out what he had cut you with the first time, Tate, was actually a short sword. This time, the dagger, which was a sacrificial dagger, slammed into the ground, and you can see... Actually, you can see nothing. This is, a uh, lifeless fucking stone, so never mind. Yay, stone! Who's stone uh, now? He stabs down at Tate with the dagger, missing. Yeah! Like a bitch. Imagine that's a dude. Since I have it there, I'm just gonna use him. All I had was long silence, and then imagine that's a dude. I don't know how- Oh, I put down a little that. token of a wolf next to uh, the Carl token. And yeah, so just imagine it's a dude, because it's the thing I had next to me. Well, there's already a Carl here. I think he knows that. It's representing the body. No, and uh, oh, no. let that fall over. Come on, Dire Badger to the rescue. No, so then all of a sudden, at a little hole in the ceiling, another man falls down. It looks like a farmer with a scimitar stabbing it through him. Pulling the scimitar out of, uh, uh, Carl, he looks at Tate. Eris, no! No? No? I'm... What just happened? Okay. I was A farmer showed him. up and killed him. 
I don't think they were trying to stealth kill Eris, but she was killed by someone else. Gardner, is that you? I see that, but that's, uh... You, you know what's happening. Please don't tell me it was yeah. Gardner. No, well, it's not Gardner. It's the scene it's where a... you're just swinging the sword at Eris. Alright. But Marcus, Tate, do you say or do anything? Yeah. The figure's name is Zomblar. <laughs> I Zomblar. think that mother... I, I think that dude just killed Carl. Some and lower. I think now he's the That's one being own. attracted by the dagger. Some lower. Tate. Yeah. Okay, never mind. So you say he's the one being attracted to the dagger to uh Lamb? Yeah. Okay. Lamb, do you say anything to take? Uh, no, but real quick, how long yeah. was the corridor we just came through? Long enough that you could get chased uh, if you try to run. So it's like more than 60 feet. Yes. Okay. As, in, in a sense, your guys' whole day has been thus far looking in a house, well, talking to a guy, looking in a house, and then walking. Well, I'm more just asking because that way I might be able to, like, somehow alert the other guards, but I don't know if we have that ability right now. Uh, who knows? I mean, the farmer just came and saved you guys, and Tate went, he wants the dagger to you. <laughs> He wants well, the D. To, to be fair, you could, I, you guys could try yelling. I mean, this place is made of stone. It's going to echo. It's not going to really dampen the volume too much. Right. Also, you're only getting one chance to do something before I have the farmer say anything. So. Part of me wants to make a really bad joke, but I've already made too many of those. I am gonna ready my bow. No, you you got your one option, Tate. Hang on. So, Lamb, what what what's your final decision on what you want to do? Uh, I'm just knocking another arrow. Okay, so you're just getting ready. Yeah. Cal covering up the waterfall with a rock. All right, well then, Tate, the guy, the farmer that's looking at you simply goes, You need to go. And at that, I assume you're grabbing your bow, right, Tate? Well, not after hearing you need to go. I have more questions than anything now. Awesome. Well... As you don't draw your bow, he screams up into the air. It's very loud as his skin rips itself apart and uh, black and red lines are going across his exposed body that is given way into a werewolf looking we motherfucker. <clears throat> Who is howling? But there is no sound for some reason. <laughs> right. Not trained to deal with werewolves. <laughs> Time to run. Are you letting me do anything? What's going on? No, sorry, Tay. Uh, he hit you. I was rolling damage. As you uh, turn and say, we need to go, he had rolled his initiative. He was in the combat. 
That's why I took your turns. Or told you to take your turns. Combat wasn't done. I didn't know we were taking our whole turn. Sorry, I kept asking, what do you want to do? Yeah, because you said we had one action. One and a half actions. I didn't know talking took up your whole turn. It doesn't. That's why I said, do you draw your bow? And you said no. What do you do on your turn, Tate? Do you run? Yeah, we're not trying to deal with werewolves. What's your speed? 30. Exactly. That's how far you make it. It's a werewolf. That big? It's a I mean, werewolf. he can make a dash action, right? Yeah, so can the werewolf. If you want, I'll shrink it down to a two by whatever hallway. No, I'm good. I just didn't change the room. I, I assume you guys are, if you want, you're in the hallway. Well, I mean, the first thing I'm going to go do is try and get that fucking dagger. That's on Carl? Yeah. It's next to the werewolf. Okay. Okay. I mean, at th that point, that was my uh, guy's only reason for coming here. He could give a rip about Carl. So you're moving next to the body then, Wait. Hold on. Holding. I try to make it all thematic for you guys, and you, you just, you whine. Yeah, <laughs> that spot should be fine. It's so annoying trying to do this through the stream. Damn you, laptop, why can you not run tabletop? Okay. He hit you, Tate. While you're on the run, I mean, yeah. he rolled a lot higher than your AC, technically. Technically, he didn't roll higher, or he didn't roll a lot higher than your AC, but he still beat it. Okay, so running is not a thing against a werewolf. Duly noted. Marcus, you uh, are remembering that they have mage armor on, right? Yeah. Okay. It rolled 23. He has 22. Oh. That's why I said it rolled a lot higher, but in a sense, it, it didn't. But it did. But it didn't. One's high enough. All right. Well, time to fight back. Anyway, uh, Tate, he hit you for one minute. Five damage. As uh, you start to run, he came up and did a claw attack against you. Well, whose turn is it? Uh, thematically. I mean, technically it'd be a pounce, but whatever. Uh, thematically, now it would be your turn, and then it would be Lamb's turn. Alright, it's getting two bolts straight to the face. Two arrows. I get to fire twice. Actually, for the cost of one shot. I can just basically, uh... Sacrifice. Is that a feat? Yeah! Combat style, though. Fair enough. Which gives me a rapid shot times two, basically. It's. I just basically notch two arrows, I believe. I, or fire two arrows successfully in a row. So I think I have to still roll for both. Because it's rapid shot. One minute, Tate.
Uh, keep in mind you're at a minus. You get to fire two shots, but you're at a minus two for all shots. The, the normal one and the additional one is how it works. I knew there was a minus, but I didn't realize it was on both shots. But it's a minus two on both. Here, to just read it for you, Tate. I, I, I just read that. Okay. That still gives me plus five on both shots. Yeah, no, it's, it's not bad. It's only a minus two, but it's just so you were aware. Go ahead and try to hit it. Fifteen, first shot. And shoot your second. Twenty-three, second shot. Nice. The first shot goes past it, hitting its fur, but not actually making a target. The second shot hits it. Roll your damage for the second shot. I have not actually, I don't think rolled damage, really. For the... And everyone, this is a monumentous moment. Tate has finally hit his first stationary target. <laughs> God damn it. It only it's took a, a double shot and being at point blank. And the target oh, being a large Hold creature. Up. Well, because not large. I, I also get a plus bigger. one. That first one was actually a 16 because of my uh, close shot. And it still missed. Damn, okay. Didn't matter. Alright, three damage. Is it a composite bow, and do you have strength? It is a long bow? But because of the close shot, I get the plus one to damage at the uh, minus 30 feet. Okay. I that feet is... As far as point, know, blank like shot. Yeah, point, point blank shot. Point blank Okay, so, you hit him for three damage. Lamb, what do you do? You are at the dead body. So, I I probably noticed Tate gang fucked up, right? Uh, you noticed... As, so, to replay it, you guys went in, Tate went to the side, Carl ran at him, you shot him, he kind of stumbled forward a little bit, but still cut Tate with a sword. And then as he came in to try and do the finishing blow with a dagger, all of a sudden a dude fell out of the ceiling and stabbed him. As Tate turned to look at you, he went, uh... Or he, as Tate turned to look at you and went, I think like, he's after the dagger. Basically. I think he's after the dagger. You just notched another bow, or another arrow to get ready and started to make your way towards the dead body, to which all of a sudden the dude said, you need to get out of here and transformed into a werewolf, to which Tate's character went, oh fuck, and started to run, but as he was on the run, he lunged forward and slashed twice against Tate. At this point, you have reached Carl's dead body with uh, bow in hand, and uh, you now have the ability to either shoot at the werewolf or try to get the dagger off of Carl. Or just run away and let your friend die. I mean, that's also always an option. Can I drop my bow, whip out the rod, say, please, for the love of God, work, and use it? Absolutely. Drop Let's an item do is that. a free action. Okay, so I need someone to roll uh, the 20 for lamb. Anyone want to roll Lamb's D20? Sorry, typing. I was about to say, was that Jerry? Sixteen. All right, now roll me two percentile, or two D10s, one of them being the percentile. 
One of those should be another color, so that we know which one is which. Come on, 51 to 70. There, I made one blue. The blue one represents the tens, the green one represents the ones. What was wrong with the other color markers? I didn't see another color, I just saw two green. So I just changed it. I might have changed it the one... instant someone else changed it too. D no, one was 67. red, one was black. I don't know then. I didn't see that. I don't know what to tell you then. Okay, uh, Lamb, you know exactly what this is as you're pointing it. Um, can you see the the stream, Lamb? Uh, sort of. If Tate will go back to the goddamn table. I'm back at the table. Tate, what the fuck are you doing? Nothing. Lamb, is he drawn on the bottom of the table? No, he was writing messages to chat. I was being good. I did delete them though. Alright, uh, you can do a roll five feet to get to the other, to get to the side. Because you know exactly what you, the wand is about to do as you put, whipped it out and went, please work. It's the, uh, energy barrage. <laughs> yeah, 61! <laughs> So I assume I'm doing this so I don't hit Tate is the thing? Uh, yeah, Tate is currently in the line of fire. Yeah, then I'll roll to make sure he doesn't fucking die. Alright, you do a five foot whatever roll step thing over to the side to put Tate out of the line. Well, when I say line, I mean to get hit. Out of the line of fire. Right. So who's rolling for Tate? Or uh, who's rolling for uh, Jared again? Uh, Jared's rolling for Jared. Jared's Shit. rolling for uh, I mean, Lamb, though. For Lamb. <laughs> who, uh, whoever's rolling uh, for Lamb. Oh, tonight's going flawlessly. I need you to roll 10d10. What? Um, yep. <laughs> Jared, before okay. you roll that D five times each, there are d10s over here. This is the same thing you used to defeat the cooling dragon, right? Yep. How the fuck did you manage to bring it over again? I don't because know. Because oh. you get that on a, uh, on a strong Six, uh, 51 goal, to 70. And then 51 through <clears> 70, <throat> and he got 67. Mm. He almost didn't get it. Marcus, the total of that 53. is 53. Damn. What was that? Total of that was 50. 53. One second. Okay. <clears throat> I still can't believe I did get that on the coin dragon, though. That was so good. what I was doing at that point. I went AFK and came back and then all of a sudden the dragon was dead. I'm like, what? what? Lamb? <laughs> mm -hmm. What's your spell saving, DC? Uh, for what level spell? Your highest. So, I think that's a 1 right now. 16. I can't. Okay. Make it. He made it. Uh, he rolls around a bit making the reflex save to take half. But no, just even with the puppy. nimbly trying to dodge this collection of essentially lasers shooting out of the end of a stick, he still gets hits a lot. And he's hurt. A lot. He survived 26 points of damage. He had a dog. He was at a little, a, a little, at 27. Was that a little oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Good thing you don't round up. 
Yeah. Laser barrage shaves the day. <laughs> anyway, kind so of. that's what you do. Be good, Puffy. I just imagine this might there might be a small crater in the, the wall now. Yeah. Stop and you won't be hurt, Puppy. <laughs> Come with us, be our friend. He did not like lamb. Well, yeah, because he's attacking rather than just sitting there waiting for it to approach him and lick his face. To be fair, this is less wild animal and more I'm going to rip your face off. Uh, the werewolf real quickly turns to the side. All of his little red lines that are on his body are now excessively glowing. The laser wounds that didn't cauterize, in a sense. Uh, no, I guess they all technically would have caught her eyes. Are also all glowing, because, you know, glowing shit inside of his body. And he lunges forward and bites Lamb. For ten points of it's damage. Capcom always hit the glowy shit. Yeah. I'm still alive! Yeah. He critted. I'm at one HP! Uh, yeah, so he turns and bites you as hard as he fucking can and it hurts you a lot and you feel like death right now. Tate, your turn! Your Is he buddy bleeding? just got bitten really well. <laughs> to be fair, Marcus, I, I, I could imagine that actually happening It's when you just got hit for 26 points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> so Tate, what do you do? Do you shoot him? Do you drop your range and pull out a Ooh. dagger or something? <laughs> do you throw your dice at him and hope that uh, it's a attack <laughs> dice? <laughs> Well, the best thing I have is actually my... The notch and arrow and shoot. Yep. You're not moving, not I today. assume, so... Although everyone wants you to use the dice, apparently. I know they do. That was not a... It just kind of flopped on the ground. But that was, and that is a 21. Yeah. hit. Roll your damage. And doesn't matter. Roll. You kill him. Okay. It really doesn't matter. You put kill him, him or does he drop zero. unconscious? So he has no DR then, huh? No, it doesn't have any DR. That was one of the things to do to, uh... Make it more balanced? Make it more balanced for these guys was take away its DR. Is it dead or is it unconscious? Uh, Tate, can you deal ten, uh, no, eleven points of damage maximum I on a, a normal two, attack? But no, I can. So no. I think Lamb he has to double crit in order to get to eleven. Nice. Anyway, so yeah, he is down. Uh, technically unconscious, but bleeding out. Death animation still. Yep. So, what do the two of you do? Holy also, shit. the werewolf's body melts apart, turning into mucky goop on the ground, but leaving the farmer inside of the goop. Well... Time to stabilize. I knew this shit would come in handy. Cause this farmer needs to be. You don't know shit about the farmer. The only one that knows know. would be the people that were at the farm. We know he know. just killed. Uh, what's his face? We don't. Re is Carl really dead? Carl also is not dead. Oh, well, you did not drop him to negative ten. Uh, Marcus, I'm gonna try this. Well, we didn't drop him to Eddie, I Mike, Phoenix down, Carl. He made it. Okay. I rolled a 20. He made it. So Carl is alive. Hooray so for auto-stabilization. Now, the, the farmer dude... 
look, I know he just straight up attacked us, but the guards need to see this person alive. They told us not to kill anybody. You guys are better than the last group that played this. They coup de grab them. Well, I also just got insanely lucky. <laughs> I almost fucking blew the wolf to smithereens. I'm glad I taught you that trick with the laser beams. Wow, Tate, you're taking credit for the wand that came from some specific entity that hasn't been named yet? Dick. <laughs> For real though, what do you two do so we can move on to the other groups? I am gonna try and stabilize the uh, wolf, the farmer, former farmer. Former farmer turned wolf, knocked out, turned back farmer. All right, then turn and roll, I guess, uh, heal. Do I get any bonuses for the shit I bought? That isn't gonna be revealed. What are you using? For blast wounds and arrow wounds. I'm using the healing ointment. Okay. The, the healing group. What about Carl? Are either of you healing? Uh, well, he's stabilized. But he's are any stabilized. of you doing anything to Carl? I'm... There's nothing we can do. We can get the guards in here once we've actually stabilized them. What condition? Uh, weird question. What condition is my shirt in? Specifically my shirt. Considering I just got bit to hell. The fuck, man? A little torn at the uh, chest. So what I'm going you. Well, when I say chest, more like shoulder, I guess it would be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my shirt, get the dagger off of Rick, and wrap it in my shirt. Gotcha. Wait, off of Rick? You mean Carl? Yes. I knew what he meant. Or at least I hope that's what he meant, was Carl. I don't know. He just <laughs> leaves. No, I'm going all the way back up and rubbing my right. shirt on Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you stabilize him. Yay. Keep in mind how many uses that ointment has. I have. I'm going to knock it off now. If it's any good, I'm going back and buying more, and I'll swear by this stuff. Okay, so you uh All right, we need one of us needs to go get the guards now. Well, as you're saying that he's picking up the dagger with his nut with his shirt. He is now topless. All right. I will run and get the guards. Since I trust laser beam with laser pants over here. Hey Tate. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey Marcus, are you going to tell Tate what you were going to say? Yeah. When? I'm just finding what I'm looking for. Okay. We might be turning silence. into werewolves. Maybe. 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 We may have Octomenos have to save us on this one. To be fair, by the way, Lamb did get hit for 10 points of damage. He's probably not feeling too well. Plus, being yeah, mad no, it a lot. Uh, with one of my saved up uses, guess what, Tate? The charm. Yeah. The charm. Yep. And it activated on Lamb and you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's Lamb's character, Topless. And he's injured. And, uh, uh, Jared, roll me a save. No, that's, uh, Jared, that's a d20 for the save. Uh, uh, sorry, wrong system. <laughs> Flawless as usual. An eight on the roll. Well, I'm gonna use one of my rerolls on that. Tate. 
Tate, did you already use up all your rerolls? I didn't get it. Uh, Fifteen. Yet. You were you got your three like two or three game sessions ago when we said you were getting them. Yeah. No, we you never actually gave them to him though. <laughs> yeah. Marcus, you had made a comment about doing that next week, and then nothing ever came from it. Sorry, I thought he he knew just to add it to him on that week. Hey, look at that, I, Tate. Yeah, your no theme idea. says three. That's the wrong counter. So you re said you rolled oh, a 15, that's the charm. Yes. Gotcha. What did right. someone uh, do the minus from his counter? Yes. Yeah, it's already been taken off on his, on a... Lamb's counter. Uh, Lamb, you're resistant to it, but all of a sudden she's super affectionate. Yeah, just a sec. I need to check the thing real quick because I de leveled, which was weird. Remember your voice, you're supposed to use tape. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the guards. Oh. Do oh, that. Oh my. I'm oh my not Marcos, okay right now. You're, you're hurt. Let, let me, uh, I, I got some of this goop left over. I can, uh... No. Go get the guards. Uh, we can deal with this later. Now no, is not the no, time. No, no, no. No, no, I, can, I cannot leave my here. Uh, I cannot leave you like this. You are bleeding. Here, let me help you. Either go, or I start hitting you with my bow. I don't think even the charm version that they wouldn't stay at that. You would probably head off, but pouty. <laughs> Indeed. Mm, fine, but I'll be back to treat you later. Please, just be safe. All right, Tate. Your your character starts going down, and as you're going down the hallway, you hear footsteps hurriedly coming towards you. There's the guards. They Must clearly it, heard it the. You know, werewolf. Laser it wasn't beam. exactly quiet. And then the laser beam. <laughs> and before yeah, they're getting back, I'm noise. making sure to, I'm making sure to like drop the dagger in my stuff, just so they don't find it and blah blah blah. Sure. Mount your guards! Mount your guards! Quick! Come quick! They're running up to you. Do you stop and wait for them, or do you run back the way you came and have them catch up to you? I stop and explain to them what's going on. We right. ran into a bit of trouble, guards. And they run right past you. I, uh, okay then. Alright, I chase after them. Rude. All right, you enter the room. The guards are there. They look at you and go, Oh, is everything okay? Carl! And that's where we'll swap over. Okay. Is everything okay, Carl? Oh, you're unconscious. <laughs> Carl, why didn't you kill them? <laughs> now we need to. And then Lamb rolls and that's when we turned into laser wearables. beam. I prefer to rolling another laser beam, and they're just all dead. Mind you, I said it would be amazing like if I rolled another laser beam. 